Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to share or teach you guys how to actually create some awesome carousels. And we're going to be doing these carousels with interactive components, obviously. So, yeah, I mean, without further ado, let's just get into it. The first thing that you actually need to do is you need to create a frame with the size of the container that you basically want these carousels to fit into. I'm gonna, since I'm making these carousels for a mobile device, I'm basically gonna create uh, a frame that's gonna be equal to the width of the mobile device, which is 375. I'm gonna create, just name this component a carousel. Inside of it, I'm gonna create another frame and I'm just basically gonna give this, well, let's for now just give it a fill, which is just gray or whatever, right? So now that I have that particular fill applied, I'm also gonna go ahead and I am just gonna pretty much um, basically position this image. So imagine I want this carousel, so obviously it can completely stick to the top. And let's just actually go ahead and apply an image so we can see how it looks, right? So I'm gonna go to my Unsplash and I'm gonna pick the abstract category for the image. I'm gonna choose this image. So here we have the image. Let's just give this a border radius as well. So by default, it's gonna be an image like this. Then let's just go ahead and actually create multiple images. So I'm gonna say that there's gonna be an image on the right as well. First of all, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove the clip content. So if there's an image on the, le on the right or the left, I can see it. So here we are gonna, we're gonna have images like this, which are basically gonna come from the right to the left. So this is gonna be our default image. I think the size looks fine, though I think on the left-hand side, the spacing should be maybe 32 pixels, and on the right of the container, it should also be 32. So let's just make sure that that spacing is even in both cases. We can also keep it uneven if we want a glimpse of the other image to be shown, so we can do that too. So let's say that this is our carousel item. One thing I'm gonna do is, I actually need two states for the carousel item. So the first state is gonna be the active state. So for example, when the carousel item is active, I want it like really big and the opacity should be uh, zero or like 100%. So I'm gonna say this is gonna be our carousel item and this is gonna be active. So, and then I'm gonna click the plus button on the variant and I'm gonna say this is gonna be inactive. Or I can say this is false, this is true, and I'm gonna rename this property to be uh, active. Okay, so this one is active, this one is true, this one is false. In the false state, I'm gonna say that the opacity of this carousel is just, of this carousel item is gonna be really light, maybe 60%, and the width is also gonna be really small as well, so maybe 220 pixels or something. So now that I have these items, I'm basically gonna go ahead and I'm gonna replace this item in my carousel with it, and let's just go ahead and see what happens. Now I'm basically gonna duplicate this item, I'm gonna place it on the side, and I'm gonna make it inactive. Now, one easy way to actually position all of your items is just to use an auto layout. So I'm gonna create an auto layout around these items. These are gonna be our items, and I'm basically just gonna duplicate these items. I can say that these items inside my auto layout container should be centered, so basically they should be like this. And I think most of our setup is basically done. So I'm basically gonna grab this carousel and move it to the right so we can experiment with it here. And I'm now gonna go ahead and I'm gonna change the images on all three of them. So I'm gonna go to my abstract again. I'm gonna say the second images can probably be this one. The third image can be this one. And the fourth image maybe can be this one or this one maybe. Okay, so here we have our images and this is gonna be the first movement of our carousel. So I'm gonna add a variant. And I'm gonna say this is, this is the second one. I'm also gonna go ahead and I'm gonna remove the clip content here so we can see the things that are overlapping. So what clip content does it, it clips the content uh, if it exceeds the width of the container that you have selected. So I've removed that so now we can see all of the items. So in this case, as we can see, we have the first item. In the second case, we have this item that's gonna be active and the previous one is gonna be small. I'm gonna duplicate this, this is gonna be our third image. You're gonna, gonna select this one, I'm gonna say this is not gonna be active, and this one is gonna be active. Again, I'm using the tab key to switch to the children's, so I'm gonna make this active, gonna press tab to go to the previous child, and then say inactive. Okay, so here we have our carousel items, I think most of it is practically done. 
Now what we want to do is we want to add some interaction to it. So I'm going to say that if I drag this particular, this first component, and let me just actually give some spacing in between them. So I've applied the auto layout to the carousel component as well, uh, the whole uh, variant component. So we, I, I can just manually add spacing in between them. And basically what I'm saying here is when I basically click on, or when I try to drag this particular element, uh, then I want you to change to the second element. So that's what happens. Now it's changing to the second element. We're going to say it's going to smart animate with an ease and an ease out of 500 milliseconds and that's fine. Similarly, I'm going to go here and I'm going to drag it here. I'm going to say once I drag, the same effect is going to be applied. I think that's fine. Similarly here, I'm going to say when I drag this uh, to basically on the left or the right or whatever it is, uh, you don't have to figure that out. You can just drag it and you can say it's going to smart animate to the next one. Similarly here, I'm going to say if I drag this, it's going to go there. And if I drag it on the other direction, it's going to go to the last one. Similarly, I'm going to say if I drag this, it's basically going to go to the first or to the third one. And I think this should practically work. One thing obviously which is not working fine is I haven't moved these items. So obviously the item that's uh, active should be in the in the particular location so in in this frame it should be in the selected position so i'm basically going to move this here and let's just zoom in to make sure the spacing is correct i'm going to move this item here and in this last case i'm basically going to move this item here and that should be done so let's just refresh and as we can see it's working i can go completely on the far right on the far left and i can easily import this into multiple screens and similarly, if I wanted, I maybe I want to say I want to have some different images, I can just go here and I can choose these images, I can tweak them, and then I can, let's say, include this other carousel as well. So imagine I wanted to tweak this first image in a particular case. Um, I can say that I want architecture images, and I want to say these are going to be architecture images. This one is going to be another architecture, maybe this one. Similarly, in this case, it's going to be something different. And in this case, it's also going to be something a bit different, maybe this one. And let's just make this first one colored as well, since I like a bit of color. So here we have it. And I'm just going to rename this carousel too. Let's see, for some reason, I think this particular, sorry, I'm actually copying the whole component which is obviously something I shouldn't do and now we have it here. So I'm just basically going to refresh it and as we can see we have this item moving, this one is moving uh, without necessarily connecting it to the previous one and I can basically keep on animating these without necessarily both of these being connected. So a lot of the times on YouTube I'm actually seeing a lot of people doing it with frames and duplicating them and then animating it to the other one. And the problem with that is if you actually want two or three carousels in a single screen that work um, independently of one another, you have to do it with interactive components. Otherwise, it's going to be a lot of interaction and a lot of frames in order to make it work. So a lot of people who may not be familiar with interactive components or who aren't doing with inter interactive components aren't really making uh, your components that are, or carousels that are really scalable. So this is really something that you should start doing and start adopting and not go for the easy way out. So yeah, that's going to be pretty much it. Do subscribe, do hit the bell icon, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.